Do you want to go? It's cool. It's stand up. <laughs> Finland is one of the coldest countries in the world. According to n.ilmatietenlaitos.v, winter is the longest season in Finland, lasting for about 100 days in southwestern Finland and 200 days in Lapland. Permanent snow covers open grounds about two weeks after winter begins. The lakes freeze over in late November and early December. The coldest day of winter is usually after the winter solstice, at the end of January until the beginning of February. The coldest temperatures in winter are from negative 45 to negative 50 degrees Celsius in Lapland and Eastern Finland, negative 35 to negative 45 degrees Celsius elsewhere, negative 25 to negative 35 yes. degrees Celsius over islands and coastal regions. Lowest temperature recorded in Finland as of 2010, negative 51.5 degrees Celsius. Hello guys! Welcome to my channel! Merry Christmas from Finland! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Pasensya na ang hirap magsalita ang lamig. <sighs> Hello guys! So, ngayon ay negative 13 degrees. Parang nagpa... nagpa-botox. <laughs> Tumigas na yung muka namin. Lamig. So, so far today guys, isi-share ko naman kung paano kami nakaka-survive dito sa Finland. How Filipinas survive the long months of winter in Finland. Negative 30. Nandito kami sa frozen lake, guys. Ayan, lake po yan. Ang winter ng Finland, nag start ng mga November. Pero mga mid-October, nag start na dun sa northern Finland. Ayan, tignan ko lang yung isang anak ko. So, my list ako dito na naman. Siyempre, mahilig tayo sa list. So, how do we survive the long months of winter in Finland? Let's find out. Number one, embrace the weather. So, talagang may winter sa Finland eh. So, wala tayong magagawa. I-accept natin yan. Then, number two, wear the right clothes. So, sabi nga nila, There's no such thing as bad weather. Only bad clothing. So, dapat kailangang appropriate yung mga gamit mo. Dapat makapal talaga at maraming layer. Every time we go out, we check the temperature. And meron ding nagsasabi na i-check din yung wind. Kasi sobrang nakaka-apekto rin sa lamig yung wind. Lalo na pag nakatira ka sa coastal area. Then, warm soups. Warm soups and drinks. <laughs> Siyempre, mainit na sabaw para sa winter, makatulong yan sa inyo. Sauna, or pag social ka, sauna. Pero tawag namin dito, sauna. Yan. Ang sarap, ang sarap ng sauna. And healthy daw yun. According to an article written by Jacqueline Cafaso in Healthline.com, when used in combination with a healthy diet, exercise routine, and plenty of water, saunas may help you relieve minor pain and muscle aches, relax and help you sleep, improve blood circulation. But, certain health conditions are not compatible with saunas, so be sure to check with your doctor. Maganda rin dito yung... Nakalimutan ko yung tawag doon. Yung naglulublub kami sa... Ha? Huh? 
ayun, may tinatawag kami ditong avanto na kung saan maglulublub ka sa sobrang lamig na tubig, then takbo ka sa sauna. Ang sarap ng feeling. Then, reflector. Importante guys na may reflector tayo kasi sobrang dilim dito. So, makakasave yun sa buhay mo. Diba may, meron mga nasasagasaan sa ibang country na during winter kasi sobrang dilim. So, importante talaga reflector. Yeah. Isha-share ko lang yung experience ko dun sa Forza. Nung <laughs> first winter ko, wala akong, wala akong reflector. Tapos naka-all black ako. Ayun, nasigawan ako na sabi niya, dapat mag-reflector mag ka, sabi niya, nung driver. Lumabas siya dun dun sa bintana niya tapos sinug sinigawan ako. So, ayaw nating mangyari yun, di ba? Muntikan ka na nga lang na matay. Napahiya ka pa. <laughs> Kaya, mag-reflector kayo guys. Tayo. Yan. Importante rin, flashlight. Magdala rin kayo ng flashlight. Tapos, um, kailangan nyo talagang mag-ingat kasi madulas. Madulas po. So, be careful. Yan. May mga nagkaka-fracture dahil sa uh, sa pagkakadula. Siyempre, hindi na tayo bumabata. Tumatanda na rin. Kaya kailangan mag-ingat. Mag-ingat para hindi kayo ma-fracture kung na-slide kayo. Tawag namin sa Ilocano, uh, noong naisaltok ka. Yan. Narigatin. Kaya ingat guys. Tapos, bago kami lumalabas, winawarm namin yung sasakyan. According to Laplan.fi, every car sold and rented in Finland has an engine heater. And it works by plugging it into a regular power outlet. For 0 degrees Celsius, heat up your car for 10 minutes. At negative 20 degrees Celsius, give it a couple hours. Don't run the heater for more than 2 hours. It doesn't make the engine any warmer and it's a waste of energy na i-warm yung sasakyan para hindi masira. Sinasaksak namin yung car namin for about 30 minutes to 1 hour. Yeah. And bago ka pumasok, dapat maaga ka din kasi magkikis-kis ka pa ng snow, ng ice sa car. Tapos ito, pag maaraw, remember to walk during daylight para hindi naman tayo ma-depress sa loob ng bahay. Kasi minsan nakakatamad na rin lumabas pero sulitin din natin minsan yung sun. Yan. Tapos, syempre, kailangan ng vitamins. Yan. Vitamin D. According to ruokaverasto.fi, a daily vitamin D supplement is recommended all year round for all those living in Finland. Pero remember guys to check sa physician nyo or sa mga doctor kung okay lang sa inyo na mag-take ng mga vitamins and supplements. Yan, mga vitamin C. Kailangan natin yan para lumakas resistensya. And, syempre, call your friends. Importante talaga yung mga kaibigan natin para iwas depression. Yan, good vibes tayo, di ba? Kailangan ding mag-moisturize. May nagsabi na dapat oil-based daw para para hindi tumigas pag lumalabas ka. Kasi nakaka-dry talaga ng skin to eh, during winter. Yan. Kailangan mag-moisturize. Um, shout out kay Daryl. Yan. The best. The best yung kaibigan kong yan sa mga skincare. Yan. Hi friend! And syempre, winter activities. Yan. Winter Wonderland! Dream come true! <laughs> Our winter activities. Lying down on the snow. Forming snow angels. Yeah, let's go out. Diving on the snow. Swimming and crawling. <laughs> Playing on the snow. Biking. Sliding. More sliding. <laughs> Chilling and having a good, good time. Ski, nice. Dancing. Outdoor exercises. Playing basketball. And of course, picture taking. Kailangan natin maging active pa rin. 
syempre, hindi naman tumitigil ang life natin sa winter. Kailangan makisabay din tayo kung ano yung mga activities nila dito. Tulad ng ski, um, nag nag-slide kami sa mga bundok-bundok. Tapos guys, kung, kung meron naman kayong budget, yan, mamasyal kayo sa Rovaniemi. Yan, maraming activities doon. And, nung wala pa po kaming anak, namasyal po kami doon. Ang, ang saya. Yun nga lang, syempre, mag-ipon kayo kasi medyo, syempre, lahat naman ng pasyal magastos. Yan, lahat, lahat ng ride dapat magbayad. Yan, may husky ride, may reindeer ride, ganyan. Yun lang, guys. So, that's it for today, guys. Kayo, guys, anong ginagawa nyo during winter? I-comment nyo naman below para meron din kaming ideas kung paano nyo ini-spend ang winter. Merry Christmas! And remember, guys, you only live once, so enjoy life and take care. God bless. Bye-bye! Wonderland. It's so beautiful, right? Very magical, dreamy, picture perfect. But at the same time, the reality is it's so dark. It's extremely cold. It can be slippery outside. It's difficult to go out. Days are short. We don't often meet friends, especially now that it's COVID time. The weather is depressing and energy draining, even though I don't have a lot of physical activities. But we have to deal with it. Like life, it's beautiful, but at the same time challenging. Imperfectly perfect, yes. And we have to learn to live with the good and the bad, the warmth and the coldness, the brightness and the darkness. The important thing is we don't give up. We continue to live, to live and not just to exist. To live at the moment and enjoy this day this present because time spent with our loved ones is the best present that we could ever have don't give up keep holding our chief nurse once said if you give up in winter how can you see the beauty of spring summer and fall keep the faith and hang on better days are coming We just